Hey Gemini, it's Goddess Puff, and this is your next 72 hours for June the 11th to the 13th. All right, jumping straight into it with an Oracle card message for Gemini. The next 72 hours. Oh, sorry if I sound kind of dry, y'all. I just did Cancer's reading, and they had. Them. Let's focus on yours, Gemini. <laughs> Toad, fortune, right out the gate with the good energy, the positive energy. Fox, cunning. Wow, you're using your wits about you to get it too. And you're going to get it quick. Potency, yes. So you have some type of idea emerging. You're, you're really, of course, you got cunning, Gemini. You usually are. You're coming into some great fortune. You have a great idea that's going to be very lucrative. And the overall energy is owl, wisdom. So you have cunning and wisdom. Potency and good fortune, whatever this is. Oh my God, I feel like it's a business idea. Whether it's any type of art, like music, dance, fashion, um, singing, rapping, painting, writing, whatever. This idea is going to pop off. Online business, small business, whatever. Clarify this for my Gemini, please, Spirit. I'm using a very odd, different deck than usual. And I can't pronounce all the names on this, so. But I can tell you what they mean. So just overlook the pronunciation, right? I'm learning the deck. I'm learning. All right, so we have Alistair. Alistair, wow, this is the first time I pronounced that correctly. And now that I've said it correctly, I'm like, how did I not say that right the first time? Alistair is not a hard name to pronounce. They boss, they boss, they boss. Alaker. And Cam. All right. Now, Alistair, let's see what he, that's about. Alas. Alas, beware of vengeful actions. Take care not to let justice bleed into cruelty for the sake of anger. I don't feel like that is you with fortune, cunning. I feel like either someone took what's rightfully yours and you're using your cunning and went to get it back and wisdom. Also, I feel like someone may be trying to do that to you. Um, if someone did take your fortune, you're going to get it back. And you're getting it back I, with the... Um, Fox, they're, they're quick, they're sneaky, they're sly, they're, and they seem to like laugh. <laughs> You're going to get it back a lot quickly, a lot quicker than you think. Also, may, someone may be trying to take it from you, or maybe someone tried to take something from you, or they did. And it says, beware of vengeful actions, take care not to let justice bleed into cruelty for the sake of anger. Because I feel like justice is going in your favor. You're going to, if you already haven't, use your wits to get back whatever this is but don't go overboard with it you know because karma is going to be bestowed on them you don't take it into your own hands you get what i'm saying yes defend yourself and get it back but do not go overboard because they are going to get dealt with all right zabos focus on romance and comfort yeah see don't dirty your hands. Keep your hands clean, okay? Because you got some hitters moving shysty, okay? Don't go lower your energy and muddy yourself in your hands with this low life energy, okay? Because they're going to get theirs. All right, you sit pretty. Focus on romance and comfort. If you're in a relationship, stay booed up. And even if you're not in a relationship, if you... Uh, being a Gemini, I'm pretty sure you got options. All right. And for those of my Geminis who don't have options, you're looking at me like, no, I don't. All right. Just love on yourself. Romance doesn't have to be with another person. Love on you. Love on your pet. Love on your kids. Love your art. Love on yourself. Love on a teddy bear. Okay. Give love to those that give it back. And yes, a teddy bear can give love back. I mean, look at her. Cute. All right. We have Alica. Focus on liberal science, including observation and charting. See, you can focus on the arts. 
including observation and charting. So you could do that as well. For the love of art, liberal science. You could go bird watching, people watching, just staring at something beautiful. All right, overall energy cam. That's how I think you say it. I think that Y is silent. Focus on listening to ambient sounds for calm, relaxing, for calm, relaxation, and inspiration. So meditation and then wisdom. Yes, yes, yes. So this is pretty much saying you keep your hands clean, all right, in the situation. You want to get this fortune back and you're going to have to be calm about it. That's like when you're in a ring and you're fighting and as soon as you get angry, you've lost. And once you get out of control of your emotions, you've lost. You can't be angry and cunning, okay? That fortune is yours. You don't have to steal or get dirty for it. And if someone stole it from you, you're going to get it back. I feel like for some of you, if someone stole your idea, you're going to come up with a better one. Focus on the love of art or whatever it is that you love and stay calm because you're going to get it back. And you're going to see it. You're going to see that person get their karma. Clarify this. Clarify this for my Geminis. You're going to get a front row seat to see the situation play out. And you're going to be wiser for it. Because you're going to witness justice in your own eyes. I mean, it's going to have it's gonna come without you having to do anything. You're just going to wake up one day and it's like, oh, this was returned to you. Or this is rightfully yours. Or this was put back in your bank account. Or you got something to mail, someone come knocking at your door, you get a phone call and say, oh, this was a turn to you, or this went through. Some, whatever it is for you guys, maybe you've lost, maybe you got an animal that ran away and they show up the next day. You know, whatever it is, you're going to see, realize that karma is real. Seven of swords, yeah. Lying, cheating, stealing, and then be careful of vengefulness. With fortune, someone stole your fortune here, and you're going to get it back. Do not exact revenge. Queen of swords. Yeah, you're in that queen of swords energy. Or maybe you're dealing with another air sign or someone who's like this sneaky. Someone here was very deceptive, and they stole something from you, or they attempted to. Again, you're going to get it back. Six of Swords, unclarifying cunning. Yes, let this go. Let this situation go. And with the chariot, Cancer, you're gonna you're gonna move forward rapidly into victory. And stuff. Like I said, with even with the Oracle cards, I was like, someone may have stolen something from you. You're gonna get it back. This is gonna wash over quickly. Like things are gonna happen quickly. With Fox, I'm getting quickness. Chariot, quickness, you are literally, either you're literally going to move, but things are going to move fast. You're going to be able to let this go quickly. With cunning, this is like, karma's going to hit them quick, like a truck. Then we have page of swords. And with potency, yeah, someone has their eye on this person. It's not you. Someone saw this go down. Six of Wands, yeah, someone saw this go down. Could be more than one person. The Hermit card, Virgo, overall energy. So you are being called to go into Hermit mode, or you currently are. Stay bunned up in good, positive energies. Because, again, this is going to play out. I feel like with Potency and the Page of Wands, you're studying, especially with Hermit, you're studying something, some type of doctrine. Um, like I said, liberal science art alchemy for some without wisdom and the hermit both i feel like that's the same energy very wise wise for your years very um down to earth especially with cam yes they're telling you to go within read focus on i keep saying it for liberal science literally because that's all you're meant to do is stay calm. Because of you, again, this situation is going to turn in your favor. I, I'm just seeing it like happen like this. It's like those videos you see on YouTube with instant karma. It's like this person pulls out the chair from under this guy. And then they walk immediately into a sign or get tripped up. 
or something like that. It's like instant karma for this person. All you have to do is chill out. All right, because it's going to come right back to you. Whatever someone stole, it's coming right back to you or you're going to get something way better in its place. And they played themselves because whatever they, they took, they're not going to keep. Someone's probably going to steal it from them. They're going to lose it, get arrested. Whatever it is, it is not going to go well. And you're going to see karma happen firsthand. Like, look at the, the owl. His eyes have seen something. You're watching something. These are, this is you. You're watching something happen. You can literally see someone get arrested and being taken out of their house or something. While you're at work just chilling, you're on the beach just chilling, and you hear or get a call or something. That's how I'm seeing it play out for you. And you're not going to have to do anything. You're going to get justice. Okay, so Spirit's telling you to relax you're gonna get justice and you won't even have to do a thing all right gemini so that is your reading if it resonated don't forget to give me a like comment subscribe or a share and i send you peace blessings and love namaste